and I welcome you all for the next sessions on the wet spinning, dry spinning and comparison between all the three melt spinning, wet spinning and as well as the dry spinning. This is one of the oldest and most complex and also the most expensive method in the spinning technology. This type of spinning is applied to the polymer which do not melt and dissolves only in a non-volatile or a thermal unstable solvents. The spinning process is explained further. In this, a wet spinning or a non-volatile solvent is used to convert raw material into a solution. The solvent is extruded through a spindle either by a simple washing it out by a chemical reaction between the polymer solution and a reagent in a spinning bath. After the extrusion, the solvent is to be removed in a liquid coagulation medium. The finally, the filament yarn either is immediately wounded to the bobbin or it is further treated to a certain desired characteristics to be achieved for the end users. The main advantage of this is a large dose can be handled and and some of the disadvantage for this process are the entire process itself is slow and along with this a washing and removal of the impurities is also another major problem in this technology. Then the another disadvantage is the solvent or the chemical recovery is also a major drawback in this type of technology. The schematic diagram shows the wet spinning, wet spinning process. In this, the coagulation, uh, stretching, washing, fiber, finishing, drying and spooling. Coagulation uh, in, as well as the stretching. In this, the polymer is mixed with the solvents and the same is drawn and it is washed and the same is passed over, over the uh, spray of chemicals where the fiber finishing is taking place. After fiber finishing, the entire fiber is dried in a hot air and after getting that wire or the fiber is wound to the bobbin or for the spool for the further usage. The next, next is the dry spinning. The dry spinning is used for the polymers that need to dissolve in a solvent or a solvent spinnings are used by a 30% of the fibers. The dry spinning, a volatile solvent is used to dissolve the raw material and forming a salutation. Then the solution is purified by the filter. The solution is extruded through a spin red in the warm air. Then after the extrusion where the solvent evaporates and solidifies to get a fine filament. The finally filament is wound either immediately to the bobbin or further treatment is to be done to achieve a desired characteristics for the end users. Now the schematic diagram shows the dry spinning process. Now here in the case of the dry spinning. Uh, the either PVC can also be used uh, for the dry spinning. The main advantages of this is yarn does not require a, any purification system which is a main in the case of the wet spinning technology. The other disadvantages are the flammable solvents are hazardous and the solvent recovery and the entire process is slow. In this topic what we are discussing is the comparison of the three technologies the first one is a melt spinning dry spinning and as well as the wet spinning the production fiber type in the case of the wet spinning the filaments are the staples only the filaments in the case of the dry spinning in the case of the wet spinning the filaments and as well as the staples can be fabricated in the case of uh, the productivity. The productivity is high in both melt and as well as the dry spinning but the productivity is slow in the wet spinning. With respect to the investment or the cost for 
the processing of the polymer is low in the case of the melt spinning but high in dry spinning and also low in wet spinning the solvents what it is used for the process are uh, in the case of the melt spinning no solvents are used but in the case of the dry spinning solvents is essential and also in the wet spinning also the environmental hazards in the case of the melt spinning there is no environmental hazards because there is no solvents in the case of the melt spinning but in the case of the dry spinning and as well as in the case of the wet spinning as we are using the solvents the solvents cleaning another chemical uh, reagent is required which may leads to a toxic the heat heat of the spinning the heat of the spinning or the thermal temperature what it is required in the case of the melt spinning is high but in the case of the dry spinning and as well as the wet spinning is low the spinning speed the spinning speed in the case of the melt spinning and as well as the dry spinning is somewhat same but in the case of the wet spinning the spinning speed is totally a slow uh, the, in the case of the melt spinning it is used for the production of the polyesters nylons uh, serons and as well as the glass fibers but in the case of the dry spinning it is used for the production of acetate triacetate and some acrylic or uh, monoacrylic P or P pvc materials but in the case of the wet spinning it is used for the production of the loisels pvc or the spandex spandex acrylic and mono monoacrylic fibers